new Tottenham Hotspur manager Ange Postecoglou. We've got some news on his latest signings and we can draw a clear plan and a clear tactical analysis of how he will set up Tottenham next season. That is what we are going to do in our video today. We are going to analyze Ange's tactical analysis and what we expect him to offer at Tottenham Hotspur. Now, as we start this analysis, we must acknowledge some of the players that Ange has currently brought in for Tottenham. These players will give us an indication on how Postecoglou plans to set up his Tottenham team. I have done a previous analysis on him. You can see the video in the top right hand corner. So Ange has brought in James Madison from Leicester City who is an attacking midfielder. We are going to see where Madison will play and what he will offer to Tottenham that Ange really desperately needs for his system to work. We know very well that Postecoglou prefers playing in a 4-3-3, high possession, high attacking, high pressing football. Therefore, we expect that kind of football to be implemented at Tottenham. Just like Maurizio Sarri, Ange Postecoglou is a possession dogmatic. He's a coach who doesn't like to alter his philosophy of football to accommodate other pragmatic ways of football. In our video today, we analyze also James Madison. He's been one of the most creative players in English football and currently I rank him among the top three attacking midfielders in England. James Madison has an accurate free kick kicking ability. He's good at playing through balls to the runners of his, for his strikers and his wingers. And also, he has an excellent shooting ability and ball creation activity. So we are going to analyze what he will offer Ange Postecoglou. We are going to see what are some of the things that he needs to improve to ensure he succeeds at Tottenham. James Madison is a good shooter of the ball. He's a good passer of the ball. Therefore, when Tottenham set up with James Madison in their team, you clearly see how he'll be able to pick Tottenham's fast wingers and this might actually be a contributing factor for Postecoglou's improvement. Another key person who Postecoglou has signed is the ball-playing goalkeeper from Empoli, Vicario. Vicario is an excellent pass of the ball, able to play through balls in between the lines just like Andre Onana, Ederson, Alisson and Kepa. This is one of the key pillars of the Postecoglou tactical philosophy that involves a ball playing goalkeeper. From the clips above you can see how he plays intricate passes to pick up his wingers, his midfielders in between the lines and ensure his team advances forward with the ball. His excellent composure under pressure and his smooth passing ability enables him to play the ball in the right areas and kickstart attacks. And this is something that Tottenham lacked with Hugo Lloris and their current goalkeeper Fraser Foster. So we are going to analyze how these two players purposely will impact the development of Tottenham. And that's why I've always had high regards for Tottenham to succeed next season because the manager himself is a good manager. I've drawn up this lineup that I expect Tottenham to be lined up next season, which will be a 4-3-3. Eric Dyer and Lenglet will start as the two centre-backs. Both centre-backs have accurate passing ability, both short and long. Lenglet's left foot will be good down the left-hand channel. Perisic and Pestop. Pedro Porro will start at the fullback position. Hoibier will hold the midfield with Madison and Bentaco playing ahead of him. Son, Kulevsky and Harry Kane, if he remains at Tottenham, will be the front line. And we are going to see how this formation will evolve during the attacking phase and the defensive phase of Tottenham Hotspur's football philosophy. Not forgetting Vicario, the excellent ball-playing goalkeeper who will sit at the base of the defense. We know very well that Postecoglou's 
high attacking football involves short passes, quick passes and switches of play. He is a philosophy of positional play that I have discussed and he likes to ensure that his teams play according to positional play. So this involves a ball playing goalkeeper, excellent center backs on the ball, high pressing football, high possession. So we are going to see a different Tottenham next season. He's a coach who has succeeded in every, every country he has gone to manage. So we expect that this project, if backed well by the Tottenham Hotspur ownership, he's going to excel as a coach. He's a good man manager and he's excellent in delivering his tactical philosophy to the players. So today, before we continue, like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. In our key tactical analysis, we are going to look at the impact of James Madison and Vicario on this Tottenham Hotspur team, since they are the two starters that I have included from Tottenham's Hotspur's previous team last season. So Tottenham Hotspur will likely be playing from the back and this will involve their goalkeeper, their two center backs and one holding midfielder dropping deep to form a diamond in builder. Eric Dyer's excellent passing ability will be utilized down the right while Langley's excellent passing ability will be utilized down the left. These are two competent ball playing center backs who have the ability to pick long accurate passes as well as to thread through balls. So in moments when opposition will commit two players to stop the two center backs from receiving the ball, this will create an opportunity for Tottenham Hotspur to play in either the holding midfielder or play in the fullbacks. Postecoglou prefers his fullbacks to start high and wide where they are able to stretch the opposition wide limiting the opposition swinger ability to pick them as they receive the ball. Madison in this position can pick the ball and play in the runs of Human Son and Hurricane. We know very well how Human Son is deadly with making runs together with Kulevesky. Therefore, the entire op the opponents will prefer to sit in mid blocks while facing Tottenham Hotspur. Postekoglu likes his wingers to stay quite wide. This enables them to draw fullbacks out of their position to create spaces in the half spaces for the runs of the two number eights. Hurricane will be tasked to play in between the center backs, and therefore Madison and Bentaco can push into these half spaces and create havoc for the opposition's team. The fullbacks might start quite wide with the goalkeeper pushing forward if the opposition decides to sit in a mid high block. This will ensure that Hoibie remains in midfield where they can easily outnumber the two-man midfield created by the opponents playing threaded balls to Madison. Alternatively, when the opposition decide to commit more players to press both the goalkeeper and the two center backs, this will leave them light in midfield even if they decide to shift in a 4-3. This is aided by the two fullbacks moving from their wide positions and playing deep in midfield to receive the ball and create 2v1s against the opposition midfielders where the more defensive and creative midfielder can pick the runs of Madison in between the lines. So therefore most teams might decide to sit deep against Tottenham since they will be a highly attacking possession based team. Perisic is comfortable coming in since he has played in midfield positions. Also, Pedro Poro, though I am not quite sure if he is comfortable playing in midfield, this might give Postecoglou an afterthought of whether to start Romero as a right center back. So in these positions, Tottenham would like to create 3v2 overloads in the wide areas, their fullback, the attacking midfielder, and their winger. The position and the constant dropping of Hurricane will always ensure they have numerical superiority in midfield where runners can make runs 
behind Hurricane's movement and attack the opposition's goalposts. Alternatively, excellent wingers such as Hu Ming Son can have a run against their fullback or simply play a simple pass into the half spaces for the runs of creative players such as James Madison who can play in cutbacks, take shots and make crosses for the runs of Hurricane, Bentaco and the opposing winger down the other side. This, are kind, this is some of the tactical philosophies that we expect. In some instances, Petroporo might be the one who does not start and Romero starts at right back so that Tottenham can form a 3-5 during attack with Dyer playing in his preferred sweeper position between the two centre-backs with Lengle and Romero playing on either side. This will ensure Dyer can pick long balls to players far ahead the pitch as well as give Tottenham defensive solidity during transitions. Now we move on to the other phase of play and this phase of play is the defensive phase of play. And the first aspect of the defensive phase of play is pressing. So what is pressing? Postekoglu, being a highly possession-based manager, will ensure that his team press quite high up the pitch with Madison joining Hurricane in the high press with Son and Kulevesky starting quite narrow to limit central progression in a 4-4 formation. This will ensure that Tottenham are able, if the opposition tries to play the ball long, the excellent aerial ability of Dyer can enable them to win the ball and kickstart counter attacks. Therefore, this is advantageous to Tottenham since they have aerial dominant center backs. Alternatively, when the ball is played on one side towards one center back, the entire team can shift to engage a touchline press using the touchline as an extra defender and winning the ball high up the pitch. And this is something that Tottenham can effectively employ to beat the opposition's press. In instances where the centre-back receives the ball and is in acres of space to play runners in behind the line, the purpose of Vicario as an excellent sweeper-keeper will enable Tottenham Hotspur to clear these balls down the wide areas and therefore ensure they can easily press with the high line because they have a goalkeeper who is not afraid to step out of his line to clear the ball. In some instances where Tottenham will not be aggressively pressing high up the pitch, they may be tasked to sit in a mid 4 for 2 blocks, ensuring they have doubled down in the wide areas and have prevented central progression of the ball. This will be aided by both Hurricane and James Madison effecting a piston press to limit the center back's time on the ball. This piston press may force the center backs to play the ball to the full backs where an effective touchline press can be created by Son and the opposite, the opposite full back. Even when they try to shift the ball across for play, the team will still be able to shift and if a winger or a number 10 drops in between the lines, the center back is able to follow him while the center midfielder is able to cover that space. When balls are threaded in between the lines, the midfielders can win the ball and effectively launch quick, fast counter attacks. And this is something that we saw in Celtic last season, where the center backs win the ball or the midfielders and they immediately launch lethal counter-attacks. And this is something that Hurricane and Son have done effectively under Jose Mourinho. So, Ange Postecoglou's era at Tottenham begins. We expect to see what he's likely to improve at Tottenham Hotspur. That is just some of the tactics that we are sure that he's going to employ at Tottenham. So we are going to follow up in with his progress at Tottenham and see how he's able to develop the team into one of the best teams in Europe. So if you've stayed with us today, you've watched this video, make a prediction of where you expect Tottenham Hotspur to finish and thanks for watching and we'll see you during our next video.